So first of all, you uh, you wound up on the Elevate cover. So oh, yeah. how did you get involved with the launch of Elevate? And, you know, what was that whole experience like for you? Yeah, so I got involved with Elevate just because they actually reached out to us and let us know that they were, you know, building a new platform and, you know, what they just standed for. And I really loved it. And I thought it was great. Um, I mean, you know, because we, we go way back that, you know, <laughs> I've been seeing Christian content for a long time. Um, and so because of that, I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. Like, you want to support us as Christian artists? We want to support you. Because um, I think a lot of people don't realize it's like a symbiotic relationship. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of how I got involved. And it was really dope, too, how they, like, literally picked my playlist of people I enjoy um, as the other artists as nice. well. So that was really dope for all of us just to link up. And, yeah, everybody was super kind, super pure, um, pure hearts in the building. So it was really awesome being there. Yeah, that's super dope. And Wande said we go way back. Wande was actually with Rabzilla before I was even with Rabzilla. That's crazy. Um, I think I think our interlap is is probably only like five or six months, but I was I was a nobody back then. Nobody knew who I was. And you did yeah. the you did the new <laughs> show and you did articles. So I was yeah. following in your footsteps with the new show. Um hey. so what's it like to be named like a trailblazer and uh, like up against some of your peers and some really other talented artists um honestly it's really beautiful to be able to be named a trailblazer uh I mean I'm honored so I mean came a long way out here so I think it's really <laughs> cool just like seeing my efforts and just different things like my passion just for the genre like being honored I think it's always a great time to if people are like hey I think you're a trailblazer so I'm like hey shout out God we love it <laughs> You went from rapping in biology class, right? All the yeah. way to, to being a trailblazer. Yeah. That's a pretty good trajectory. Um, so any any science, any science uh, students watching this, you know, you too can be a rapper. Yeah. Pay attention to school, happen. man. It might change your life. It might change your life. <laughs> and take internships. Yes. That, that's that's your key. Internships. Yeah. Um, all right. So I, I saw that you recently were going through some health issues, like concerning your your mouth and your jaw. Obviously, challenging not only as a person, but you're an artist. You're you have to speak, yeah. you have to rap, you have to make music. Can you yeah. can you talk about that a little bit? What what's been going on and how you're doing? Yeah. So praise the Lord, He healed my mouth. Even my doctors were like, "Amen." I ain't never seen anybody get healed this fast. So shout out to you. Um. So. Um, but yeah, I was going through a hard time. And honestly, if I look back and reflect on everything, it was really kind of God getting my attention and being like, hey, if you don't address this, like, you know, that's on you. Um, and so it really was like a culmination of like, a, I feel like a lot of different attacks I was getting. Mm -hmm. And then everything just kind of caused my body to like shut down and just couldn't, I couldn't open my mouth anymore, bro. And it was crazy. Um, but I knew exactly what was going on. I knew that that was like also God telling me like, hey, man. You need to address these things. So um, for me, like what that looked like was one, going to an actual physical specialist. Um, uh -huh. But then two, it looked like on a spiritual um, side, like praying and fasting. Um, it also looked like uh, just being obedient to whatever God was telling me to do. Because I think for me, it was like he was telling me to let certain people go. And he was telling me that I need to address certain things um, that were just kind of like left unsaid that were just causing like a lot of oppression on me. Okay. And so... Yeah, by me doing all those different things, um, I feel like the Lord just like released it and he brought, you know, reconciliation to a lot of relationships. Um, and he also just, you know, brought healing to my physical body. So like it was like a reflection of my soul also manifesting then through my body as well. So it was really dope. And and how long was that whole process from it you not a, being able to open your mouth till like you you were better? It was like a maybe two months of like severe. And okay. then from there, the I would say like it took one month where everything just reversed. Um, and then yeah, so I think that was kind of like it was two months of severe. Then I finally addressed the situation, and then that kind of one month, like maybe one month to six weeks, mm -hmm. that's whenever everything we reversed. But when I had went to the doctor, they had told me it'd be like six months. Um, and they were telling me like, yeah, basically like six months to your straight, and then a little bit after. And so it it should have been like June. Like I should have yeah. now been getting better now, but literally got better way before that um and yeah I was able to record a whole album like God definitely just like did a lot of refinement just do something that could have been used to like you know discourage me and like made me stop doing music and stuff like that yeah so when when I saw you in October so there was nothing going on with it yet I think that's before it might have activated then yeah yeah because definitely at Doves I was straight yeah 
Yeah, because I when when I was looking through your Instagram and you know your different stories, like kind of kind of go through it. I was like, she seemed fine when I saw her. She performed. We actually yeah. spoke together. So I was like, it must have been like, pretty it was soon. like right. Yeah, it was probably right like after. right after. Honestly, yeah, that okay. it happened. It was unexpected. Yeah, I just, yeah. We were like literally eating dinner one day. Me and my husband, we did a couple a couple dinner date, and then I was eating, and my food was falling on my like my lap, and I was like, what's going on, bro? And then I noticed, I'm like, oh, I can't put this fork in my mouth. <laughs> and wow. I was, I didn't, so at that time, I didn't know what was going on. So, but it was embarrassing because we didn't know the other couple like that. So I just had to pretend like everything was fine. Just kind of wipe my mouth. But then I just was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to take a to-go plate. Um, but luckily I also have a gift <laughs> because I smile all the time. And so because I smile all the time, I learned how to talk low-key without moving my mouth. <laughs> um and so it actually came in handy like i actually am like i could literally talk like this oh like, yeah ventriloquist yeah i literally can like do on some ventriloquist type stuff and so that actually allowed me to be able to record you know without being able to open my mouth so it was that gift came in handy later in life <laughs> you really did a, a kanye through the wire yeah <laughs> you just, and you do you need to bring like a dummy on stage and do like a, a segment where you're you yeah. know talking maybe have a blonde day a blonde day <laughs> oh, blonde them. yeah <laughs> um all right so you had that happen and then obviously you had the the girls night out tour which now was canceled unfortunately yeah. so what kind of happened around that if you could talk about it and then maybe then get into what having a tour like that would have meant for like the space and and women in our space yeah, and just unfortunately, just due to like some back end things, it was uh, had to get canceled essentially. But I think it would have been really beautiful just to see the unity because traditionally Christian hip hop artists yeah. don't collaborate that much with the, the gospel world. And so I think it would have been really great exposure to their audience of what we do and like just how it praises the Lord as well. Um, and just even showing people, because I know I'm someone who's big on sharing the space anyway. I, I do playlists yeah. and stuff like that. So anybody who would have found us or found me would have found everybody else if they just check my page. So I think it would have been really great exposure just to the Christian hip hop world. Um, but I think God has a plan in, in everything. I think the benefits is since we did like some meetups beforehand, like I was able to, you know, meet all the girls. I have all their numbers now. We're all cool. So we can still collaborate, you know, and so I'll yeah. probably make that happen. I think, I think it helped reinforce like they want to work together, like they want to collab. So I think we'll just have to do it in a non-traditional way now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And you never know what could happen in the future too. Like yeah. maybe there's an even bigger, better, more amazing tour, you know, yeah. in the future. Yeah. Um, and then you you kind of hinted at doing your own headlining tour or wanting to do your own headlining tour in the fall. Has Indeed. that materialized at all? Yeah. So we're in like the planning stages of that. So definitely there will be like a one day Atlanta show and then we're planning the routings for everything else. So I'm thinking of doing at least five dates, probably maybe five to 10. Um, okay. But yeah, there will be a one day tour to, you know, coming later this fall. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a situation. And that would be your first. Yeah. Tour, right. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be lit. Oh yeah. All right. All right. All right. I, I feel like, I don't know if it was last year or even the year before. I just know it's a long time coming before I get into this question. Lecrae was talking about you having this amazing album in the works oh, on, like yeah. a, on like a 116 day, I think it was. So what happened? <laughs> Where's that oh, album? No, I feel like it was a while I, ago. I actually, I turned, well, not turned it in. Because you said you just recorded something else too. Yeah, yeah. I just finished see. basically the project like this week type stuff. So I finished okay. everything I have to do. There might be some little like, oh, maybe make that drum louder type stuff uh, for mixing. But yeah, I mean, the album's pretty much done. So it's on the way, man. So they have to do their, you know, marketing timeline to submit it to all the platforms and like get support. But other than that, I did everything I need to do. And so the album is on the way. Was it was it the same project that you were working on that Lecrae was talking about? I think so, because um, I basically started it in January. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So Man. it was just like all the so finishing touches. Yeah. Exit was what? 2020? Yeah. So it's been a long, long time. Long time. Yeah. You you at least dropped the EP pretty quickly after that, right? Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah, but then we the streets been waiting. Yeah. Uh, so all right, come on, you're here. So what can you tell us about this this new music that's coming? The album. I know you can't say everything because Reach has to do the marketing thing, like you said. Yeah. But give, give me a little something, please. I mean, I mean, I mean, 
you know, since y'all, since y'all the homies, you know, so, um, but yeah, the album will be called Anike. And so that's actually one of my names and I'm actually renaming myself Anike, like legitimately, like legally. Um, and so the album, you're still going to be one day though, as an artist, we don't, we don't know. We don't know. So stay tuned. My, I might not be, honestly, I might not be. Can you spell it? Can you just yeah. spell it? Yeah. It's, uh, Anike, A-N-I-K-E. Okay. Yeah. And so. Yeah, stay tuned for massive announcement changes. Um, but yeah, I will be doing that for spiritual reasons, actually. Um, and okay. so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be naming the project. And so it's definitely like really diverse, but very beautiful. Uh, I think it's very R&B um, kind of pop leaning, but then you still get the raps. Um, I think it's going to be unexpected. It's like the way it sounds is different than anything I've ever done. Uh, but I think it's really beautiful and it just kind of like shows the growth very god-centered very worship-centered um yeah it's just like a really beautiful album that kind of just shows what it looks like if someone's really just leaning on god um the theme the themes of it are breakthrough just like leaving bondage and heading into you know who god is really calling you to be heading into freedom yeah. um so yeah it's a really beautiful album honestly and yeah everybody's excited i think everybody like anybody who's heard it so far has been like oh snap like this is crazy so, so so, and I know artists always say like their their latest music is always their favorite music, but how much of a step up do you think it is from Exit? Oh, it's like night and day. I don't know what I say night okay. and day, but night and day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Man, man, man. man. I feel now like you, you, you'll get a link. We got once some we good like, stuff here. Once you get the green light, you'll get a link. So listen, I'm trying to put the, the pieces together without putting words in your mouth. But if we have a fall-ish headlining tour coming, are we talking about maybe album in fallish type yeah, drop? Yeah, probably early fallish, early fallish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Early fallish, latest summer ish. Okay, I'm just trying to I'm trying to put the pieces together without without yeah, specifically nah, you, asking you what date is drop. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you you'll get a you'll get a call first, so you'll know exactly like what's going on, you know. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So what about uh, what about all the kind of entrepreneurial stuff you have going on the the makeup and just I, I feel like you you have your hands in, in so many different things. Yeah. How is how is all that going and, and what plans do you have in terms yeah. of like doing more of that stuff? Yeah. So ironically, I've been kind of like drawing back on business things okay. just to be like, OK, God, what do you have for me in this season? I think I'm a very ambitious person. So as soon as I started my artist career, I was like, yeah, this, 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 this. Um, but I think God has like been helping me refine like what are the areas he wants me to kind of dive into. So I've actually been kind of focused more on like just a ministry and like pouring into people era. Okay. Um, and so I have a ministry called What's Up Bestie. And so that's like a side page. It's almost like a passion project, honestly, that I have on yeah. my Instagram and it's a separate Instagram channel. And it's really focused towards women. And on there, it's almost like a best friend, like a sister in Christ, um, where I just like share with women different things I've learned to like help encourage them, you know, with this Christian walk. Because I notice even with my music, a lot of people who um, hear my music, a lot of them are new believers. And they're yeah. like, OK, like I want to be here with Jesus, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> and so um, I help a lot of women and then also people who are saved but just don't know what to do because maybe they're raised in church culture and maybe restricted from like basic essentials. So I help with like things like fashion um, and the Bible. So I call, call it Bible beauty business. So Bible we get the Bible, business. we get okay. beauty and business. So I help new believers and, you know, uh, how would you call it? Seasoned believers, you know, with devotionals um, that I post on my website, what's dot com, and also in my Instagram channel. Um, then I also, you know, we get the beauty where I post different things like um, yesterday I posted a fashion uh, modesty inspo. So I share okay. different things like, hey, here how you can like, you know, do your outfits to be modest, but still be fashionable. Um, hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, different things like that. Um, and then business, like um, that's one thing I do from time to time as well, which is like, OK, here's how I got to where I am. Here's some knowledge I know. Anything yeah, I learned, yeah, yeah. I'll pass it on so you can do it as well. Uh, and just encouraging people because most people, it's like a mental thing. Like they, they're capable, but they just never believe in themselves. So just also encouraging people with business and equipping them with like tools of like here resources you can go to to learn and different things like that. Okay. Yeah, that's dope. Now, it, did this new kind of season of thinking and even the name change and all of that, did that come out of what was going on with your health because of the things that you like uncovered during that time? Or was this, you know, ongoing? 
think, yeah, I think it's connected. So I think, you know, as I was getting a breakthrough with that, praying and fasting, um, God was laying it on my heart. I literally started the ministry like New Year's type stuff. Um, okay. So literally, yeah, as the New Year's, everything was breaking free. Everything, um, the Lord just kind of laid it on my heart to be like, yeah, just do this. And I just want you to be consistent and post. So mm -hmm. even now I'm doing a 30 day challenge to be honoring to that. Even with that tour being canceled too, I feel like it was like a blessing because now with this 30 day challenge, I, I don't even know what that's going to do as well to encourage different people's lives of just like posting like consistent, like yeah. God encouraging content towards women for 30 days. Um, so yeah, it's really beautiful to see that. Yeah. And obviously it's also going to free up time for you and now with that extra time you know you might be able to do something else or create in other ways so yeah it's definitely cool um can you maybe talk about i guess the importance of patience in art like very famously you were on the same label as what up rg who takes yeah. a very long time to do things andy minio takes a very long time andy minio just disappears between projects yeah and i'm sure he's got some good stuff coming that you've heard um so what about you i mean it you've it's been like three or four years for you yeah. too before we was a project yeah so. I, I ain't doing that no more <laughs> that was not, <laughs> that was not like an intentional thing it's kind of happened yeah, um, yeah. yeah i think um i think patience is definitely important because i know even for this like you know i was ready in january like oh my gosh yeah but then you know i was putting work into each song to like customize each song and mm -hmm. then you look back and i'm like dang it's been six months that's crazy or five we're in may so took five months you know to get to where I am with like we had the foundation in January but then once you customize each song it took till now yeah. um, so I think it's important to know that like God's timeline is with you so if you know that you know you're walking in God's plan then you don't have to stress out I think patience helps you calm down and patience helps with yeah. the other people's spirit peace you know so yeah. whenever you're patient you can have more peace that God is in control and to know like you know I don't have to look to the left I don't have to look to the right I can just know, okay, whatever God has for me, it's for me. So let me just focus on doing it well. And whatever, whenever God's timeline aligns, it aligns. Yeah, no, that's great. Because I think I think a lot of artists, especially now with the way the music industry is, it's like, if I don't have a new single, you know, every three weeks, people are going to forget about me. No one's going to know who I am. Yeah. But so th there's that quantity aspect. But when you drop that quality, when you drop that masterpiece, you buy yourself a whole lot of time <laughs> between between things like thinking yeah. of just like Kendrick Lamar every couple of years he drops an album that people talk about forever yeah. so um I hope that's what you have coming to like this is the one day masterpiece and I know you're not trying to spend another three years but yeah. if it is indeed this masterpiece you you probably have like three years to write off to that to come yeah, up with something if needed if needed <laughs> yeah 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 all right so do you have uh anything else that's important anything else that's going on that you think the Rabzilla audience should know Hmm. I'm like, what's important? Uh, I mean, just stay tuned for the new music. It's gonna be beautiful. Whenever we announce the tour, support. You know, get your tickets. Um, support women in rap and Christian rap. You know, and yeah, just stay loving Jesus. 